His vulnerability is part of the famous four scouts research in 2020 dubbed Amnesia 33. So what's this vulnerability about? The vulnerability is a remote heat buffer overflowing the DNS functionality of the Edenot TCPIP stack. The Edenot TCPIP stack is used as part of the NOT OS real-time operating system, which is used on low-powered Internet of Things devices. DNS? DNS packets have a formatting for host name strings that breaks it into labels that are prefixed by a string length packed. Remember, DNS is the service that maps IP addresses to host names. Multiple labels are separated by a period. The total host name string is considered complete when a zero is found for a label length. Let's see an example. So suppose we want to encode the string dot 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 example dot com. The first label dot 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 starts with the number three, followed by the label string. Example starts with the number seven, followed by the example string. And finally, com starts with the number three, followed by com. Finally, the domain name is terminated by the no label. Domain name packets also support compression. So essentially, you have the first label, and then you have what is referred to as a compression pointer. What is a compression pointer? Well, a compression pointer occupies two bytes. It serves the purpose of reducing the size of messages, especially when there are multiple records with, with the same domain names in a message. So, for example, you have www.example.com, foo.example.com, ost2.example.com. Rather than having all of them listed out in this full manner, you would essentially have the, the label for the different part and then a compression pointer that points to the start from the offset of the packet of the common part. Keep in mind that when reading the label, starting with the length, we either encounter the length or we encounter a compression pointer. Well, how do we know which has been encountered? Let's observe the structure of an encoding of, of, an, of a compression pointer. The compression pointer always starts with the with this higher two bit set, one one. This allows us to know that the byte being observed is a compression pointer, not a length. This is why the maximum label length is 63, because you can really only use the lower six bits to represent the size of a label. So either we either it is treated as the normal label of up to size 63 or it's a compression pointer and you need to read the next the following byte. Regarding the upper two bits, the 10 and 01 combinations are reserved for future use. All right. Now the highlighted variable CP points to either a compression by compression pointer, first byte of a compression pointer, or the string length. Take a moment to find the floor.